Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I am Mahogany Monet and if you aren't new here, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a chill campus baddie guy. So this video is really dedicated to my girlies who go to school or just any person who wants to look good every day without giving effort. I call this a guy because I'm going to be giving you guys tips and things to invest in that will help you look like that girl even when you didn't try, okay? So this is not going to be like a haul video, but it's going to be just showing you guys some pieces and how to use them. I'm going to be giving you guys gems on how to look good every day with little to no effort. So if y'all would like the tea on how to look like that girl all the time, make sure you guys continue watching. Without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Life moves fast and you do what you want. So before we hop into the video and I show you guys the outfits, I kind of want to just talk to y'all a little bit and I'm looking down at my phone if y'all wondering what I'm looking at. I just want to tell you guys a few tips and about a few items that help me look like a material girl. Okay? Okay. The first thing we're going to talk about is hair. Something needs to be done to your hair. Okay? Not saying that it has to be done. Not saying that you have to have a fresh install. None of that because you can wear hats and things like that. But basically for your hair, if you don't have it done, just make sure it looks presentable. A few ways that you can make your hair look presentable even if you don't have your hair done is maybe you have like a wig or something you could throw on your head. You could put on a hat over it. A cute hat. I know beanies are super, super, super popular right now. So invest in some beanies because you can go to like a Ross or TJ Maxx and they have beanies for like $4 dollars or they're not that expensive and you can also get beanies from walmart so it doesn't have to be like the name brand ones beanies are beanies and if you know how to make it look cute then it doesn't matter like period other hair accessories include claw clips cute big scrunchies i will show y'all some of the claw clips and scrunchies i have so these are just a few claw clips that i have i have more i got scrunchies so let's say for instance you have your hair down but you don't have it curled or you don't feel like straightening it or you don't feel like feeling your hair down your back all day claw clips Claw clips they're also very popular right now or if you just want to put it like in a ponytail in the back put a scrunchie on it like it just it's just something that gives it a little razzle dazzle, you know? And also, when I put on the outfits and stuff, you guys will see how I incorporate like claw clips and all the other things we're gonna talk about in this segment in the outfit. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is bags. Now, me personally, I am in college. Whatever bag I wear to class, it needs to fit my MacBook and my books, and I use binders and you know, I just can't carry a little purse. So I don't carry little purses when I do get ready to go to class. You know, most of the time I might wear like my medium tail far or I have like a coach bag and y'all gonna see that in an outfit. But like, you know, like cute little bags like this, I don't really wear to class because if I'm gonna wear a purse, it needs to fit my books. Also, another thing is you don't have to have like a tote bag or something. There are some cute book bags out there. Me personally, I just don't have a book bag and I don't know, I like rocking my totes, but I will say putting books and stuff in these totes does do like wear and tear, so. Me personally, I like to keep a cute tote or a cute bag, so I would definitely suggest investing in one of those. So the next accessory I feel like um, every girl needs, you know, just for everyday wear is frames. So I got these frames from Elk Look Eyewear. They sent me four pairs, so I just wanna show y'all some so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So this is one of the pairs and they're just frames, like they're everyday frames. And these are so cute. I would keep them on, but like the ring light is kind of like throwing me off. But that is what I mean by frames. So y'all can also go on Elk Look Eyewear if y'all would like to. I will link them down below if y'all are interested. And also the outfits and stuff, like I said, this is not a haul. This is just stuff that I have in my closet. So if you want the link to like anything, just comment down below and I will get it for you. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all two more pairs. They sent me four. Um, but one of them kind of looks like, you know, like I need to be wearing an outfit with them. So I'm not going to show y'all those because we're like talking about basics today. Here is another pair of frames. So cute, so cute. And these just kind of add, like, you know, it just adds to your outfit. And this is the last pair that I'm going to show y'all. These right here. Cute. So another thing that you want to make sure that you have on is just something that I go by like I always have to have me some earrings and I don't care where I'm going I'm gonna put some earrings in you can get earrings from the hair store it doesn't have to be like expensive real earrings but make sure you have some earrings in like these right here came from beauty supply 
but they're cute and um i would definitely suggest investing in necklaces bracelets you know have something on your arm so yeah definitely make sure you put on jewelry because i don't know it just kind of screams i tried let me just tell y'all about some things that i am gonna wear to class and that i don't wear to class for starters I do not wear jeans to class. Now, if it's a special day, maybe it's a fried chicken Wednesday and I want to eat cute. Or, but if it's just a regular day and I have 8 o'clock classes, so a lot of times when I wake up in the morning, I'm not trying to do the most. And I like to be comfortable. So, I'm not wearing no jeans to class. I would wear like tights or sweats and y'all going to see that. But, because you're probably like, how you look cute in tights or sweats? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. This is what this video is for, you know? So, a lot of times I'm not wearing jeans to class unless I'm like actively trying to be cute that day. With shoes, like I said, some days I may or if it just looks right with what I have picked out, then I will put on shoes. But please, please, please invest in y'all some cute slides or Uggs if it's cold because I love wearing Uggs to class. They're comfortable. They also have Ugg slides. So, I will wear Crocs every day of the week. But that's just me. So that's pretty much what I wanted to tell y'all before I show y'all these outfits. So let's hop right into these outfits. So the first three outfits, I'm going to be showing you guys how I style different jumpsuits. And I love wearing jumpsuits to class. They're very comfortable and also very stylish. This first one is a black jumpsuit, which I got from Sheen. And I put this cardigan over it, which I also got from Sheen. And I'm wearing my tail bar, which does fix my books. And I just wore Uggs with it. Let's say it's cold outside. I just feel like this is so, so cute. And these jumpsuits you can wear different ways. So you can definitely wear them multiple times. Next, I have this black jumpsuit with this pink cardigan. Now, if you watched my last video, which was a get ready with me for the first day of class, you saw this cardigan and I actually wore it with a brown jumpsuit, but this is so cute. And I just love how everything is so versatile. So I would definitely recommend investing in cardigans and jumpsuits. Next up, I styled this brown jumpsuit and I just put a flannel over it and I think this is so cute. I paired it with my shimmer fours and you could tie it up or wear it down as y'all see. So cardigans are not the only thing that can go over your jumpsuits. And do y'all see the glasses change? Did y'all peep the glasses change? I done changed them every time, like get into it. Next up, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite bodysuits and tops that I like to wear to class. For this look, I paired this bodysuit with these sweats from Sheen. Now, this bodysuit is also from Sheen, and I have it in pink and white. But for this look, I put a claw clip in. I just have on some clear frames, and I paired it with my dunks. I feel like this look is so cute. Here, I'm just showing you guys different styles of bodysuits and crop tops that I like to wear to class. Now, I'm not sure how y'all feel about crop tops in class, but me personally, I do wear them some days. If you are bad, put your hands up high. So next up we have bottoms and like I said in the beginning I don't really wear jeans to class so here are some of my sweats. I have regular sweats, I have stacked leggings like y'all see here and just styling these with any crop top, with any bodysuit in a cardigan or however you would like to do it. These sweats are also very versatile. I'm just showing you guys me styling some tights. Like I said, you could wear tights with any sweatshirts, just any type of top. A lot of these pieces are basic, so it really is easy to mix and match them. Arms in these songs dedicated to you win. You're in the mood for empathy, blood in my pen. Better yet with your friends and them. I really want to know you all. I really want to show you off. Fuck that. Pour up plenty of champagne. Cold nights nice when you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and y'all curled in that little bitty range. I heard that. In this last section, I'm going to be showing you guys two different two piece sets. And two piece sets for class are super convenient. You can also mix and match them. But in these, I'm wearing them together. So this is actually a three piece set. And it looks like a workout set from Ross. But it's super cute for day to day wear. I wear it to the gym also and then this is a black one and I also got this one from Ross the bottoms was too big at first but they kind of fit now
So that was the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and got something out of this video. I've been thinking about this video and I was like, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it, you know, period. So thank you guys so much for watching towards the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. And I will see you guys next week because I said I was being consistent all 2023. And so far, January has been pretty consistent, so. Look at your girl doing better. If you guys have any video recommendations, please comment down below. But having the ideas ahead of time and planning my content has really, really, really helped me this month. So if you guys have any ideas, just let me know because I can definitely put it in my little app and we can get to working on it, okay? Okay. So I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.